Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 1 of Pokemon Gaia version. This is a Pokemon Fire Red hack made by Spherical Ice on Poke Community. Check out the thread down below. He has also created Pokemon Cobalt version, which was a great game. So, this guy's an experienced ROM hacker. This game's gonna be great. It was released the day I'm recording it, Saturday the 27th. And I'm really excited for it. I think it's a beta version with like two or three gems like a typical beta one, and um, there's a ton of cool features, we'll get into them as we go. Um, but yeah, the game looks fantastic from the screenshots that I've seen, so I'm real excited to play it. I wasn't expecting uh, that a beta release would be so soon. Uh, we'll just go through the typical intro sequence real quick. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really expecting it. September's been a great month for ROM hacks, so I'm really excited about that. There's been so many released, I haven't even gotten to Pokemon Fluorite yet, so... Uh, let's withdraw our potion, as always, and head downstairs. I'm not too sure about the storyline of this game, but we'll learn about it as we go on, I guess. I like playing these games a little blind, so... Uh, you know, we're a little surprised when we... when there are plot twists and stuff. Just got this uh, letter from a strange lady wearing red. Okay. Uh, got a letter. I didn't read that, but okay, it went way too quickly. What does the uh, letter say? Can we read it? Hello, you recently withdrew a certain book from C uh, Celanto Library. Please bring it and meet me at the Relica ru Ruins. Okay, so that's strange. It's a history book. There is an illustration of a rock-like figure moving a tree. Okay, a rock-like figure, like Reggie Rock. Okay. Dave, I just remembered you should try out these new running shoes. You know how to use them, right? Just hold down the B button. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's explore first before we get to the ruins. Go inside this library. I don't think anyone's going to give us anything. Okay. The Relicanth, I think, is a big part of this game, since the Reggies are a big part. Okay, we got a tiny mushroom. And, uh... Let's see what this guy's doing. Appears to be immersed in a book. Better not disturb him. Well, he's blocking upstairs, so... I think we have full right to disturb him if we wanted to. That's alright. So I'm sure this lady's not happy that, uh... We're taking our time getting to her. So that kind of looks kind of like Dark Rising 2, where there's boxes lined up behind a door. In front of a door. Uh, I think you had to, like... I don't know what that place in Dark Rising 2 was. I don't know what Pokemon you had to bring, but I think it was Zygarde, but I couldn't find it anywhere in the region. Never seen a flower like this. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so now we're in the condominiums. Let's see if anyone gives us anything. Oh, a Twisted Spoon. Alright. Not bad. Maybe we'll get a Ralts or a Abra. Let's see. Um, Rayquaza. Okay, cool. I'd love to see a Rayquaza. Most games don't really center the ga the game around Rayquaza, which is kind of strange. Okay, so that guy will give you something if you bring six Pokemon, a full team, and this guy will, or someone, will bring a sh uh, give you something if you bring a Shepet. So, uh, try to remember those if you want prizes. I'm guessing they're pretty good, so uh, I'll try to keep them in mind. I don't know if we'll catch a Shepet, but we'll see. I think there's a hidden item. Oh, I missed a hidden item, didn't I? Yeah, okay. So I played a little bit of the game, and I always pretty much check every single spot for hidden items so that I can show them off to you guys. Let's see, this must be the place. Alright, yeah. And whenever there's ominous music, we know something big is going to happen. We don't even have our Pokemon yet, so nothing big could happen, really. Got a full heal. That's not a hidden item. And that's the lady waiting for us. I just want to explore a little bit. Not a bite. wonder why there's no sea life. I don't know why you'd be fishing if there's no sea life, but okay. You know, you'd give up after a while. I guess fishermen never give up, though. You took your time. Yeah, I really did. <laughs> you probably wonder what those structures for are for now. I mean, we live in town. I feel like we would have seen them before. These are those totem poles of uh, Reliqua. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. 
Uh, probably not, actually. They were constructed by the elders of Orbitus over a millennium ago. They are looking quite good for their age, no? Anyway, I called you here uh, to because of the book you took from the library. You see that tome is very dear to me. In fact, it is my own. I believe that the wily thief of a librarian stole it from me when I wasn't looking. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to give it back. Would you be so kind? Yeah, so either way, you're going to have to give it back, so we'll just say yes. That's very noble of you. It looks like her overworld is slightly different from a regular old lady. Thank you very much, and now if you excuse me, I have a certain librarian to go and scold. Again, thank you, farewell. Okay, that was strange. We didn't really learn too much about history from it, <laughs> since we didn't really fully get to read it, and she didn't enlighten us at all. Alright, here's Mom. Did you meet up with the lady? What did she say? I see, so she took your book. Hmm, that's weird. Anyway, I got realized that you could have gotten attacked by a wild Pokemon. That was very irresponsible of me. Maybe it's time you got your own. I heard a professor of archaeology giving away Pokemon in the library. Alrighty. So that's, that's very convenient. So, let's go over. I'm guessing that was the guy blocking the path before the professor. So, yeah, let's go in. Ah, at last, a third person. I thought an esteemed professor giving away rare Pokemon would have interested more people. Obviously not. I mean, there were a ton of people in the library. You could have just said, giving away free Pokemon. Anyway, I suppose you're all wondering who I am. My pr name is Professor Redwood. I'm the Orbitus's region's... I'm the Orbitus Regions Pokemon Professor, and I specialize in the ancient world and ancient Pokemon. I actually came here to Salanto to seek out new talent. You see, I'm getting quite old, my field work is increasingly becoming a physical burden I cannot keep up. For that reason, I need some helpers. Okay, that girl just split. <laughs> I suppose that prospect isn't, isn't appealing to everyone. Uh, that leaves to you two with the choice of th these three rare Pokemon. Please go and choose. Okay, so I'm guessing this guy's going to let us choose first. We can choose the 4th gen starters. I'm going to go with Piplup. Uh, I don't really like Turtwig. I like most grass Pokemon, but not Tur Turtwig. And Chimchar is a little overused, so we'll choose Piplup. Oh, I like the jingle. Alright, uh, so we're going to name him Eric from Happy Feet. I believe that's the main character. And uh, there we go. So... Our rival's going to tur choose Turtwig. Congratulations, how does it feel having your first Pokemon? I'm sure the bond between you and your Pokemon will strengthen in no time. Now I have a few errands to run, but I do have one last gift. Meet me in Fenona City and I'll give you your final gift. So I guess we're going to be seeing each other a lot. I guess I should introduce myself. My name is... Slum Shady. Uh, we're going to call him Steve, since that's what we normally name our rival. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we'll get to Fenona City in this episode and then call it a day. I believe these will be up, uh, uploaded on Monday, the first episode. Uh, since I do still have to... Or maybe Sunday. I do have to upload Adventure Red today. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Dave, wait up! Alrighty. I don't know how we, he got behind us, but... I was wondering, as we have both have Pokemon and we're going to work for the Professor, maybe we should start a little rivalry. Let's see who's stronger. Alrighty. I guess you could have trained up in the wild grass. I give, guess it gives you the option. Uh, but we'll make it hard on ourselves. We're not going to be training up too much. Unless we have to. Uh, so, let's just go for pounds. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to do anything. I figured he would withdraw, so... We're just going to have to get lucky with a crit or something. And, uh, I, we have potions, so... As long as he does crit us... Should be alright. Yeah, we should be out speeding, too. I don't know why we weren't. I'm gonna potion up. We do have two, so... Might as well make use of them. And, uh... Yeah, he's out speeding us a lot. He's gonna kill us on the next move, too. I don't want to speed tie, so... We did have to use two potions to take down this Turtwig, so he probably got the better Pokemon. That's alright. Impossible! Ugh, I can't believe I lost. Oh well, I'll see you at Professor Redwood's house. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up and then we'll continue on the route. Alright, so let's continue on this path. I'm guessing there will be a few trainers for us to take down. Uh, if you guys want to suggest Pokemon for me to use, uh, and you see one in the route or something that you want me to use, let me know and I'll uh, try to uh, 
uh, pick it, but uh, no promises, I guess, but I'll try my best uh, to add it to the team. So we're going the right way, which is always a good thing. Check out this cool Pokemon. It's a Weedle. It's not that cool. We do have an antidote, so it'll come in handy. It was on the, it was a hidden item early on the route. Uh, okay, we're already here. There was only two trainers, not bad. Okay, there's Tremors. Wait, what? Tremors and Fenona Tunnel have drawn me like a moth to a flame. Okay, interesting. Have you heard of the rumored hidden grotto? Supposedly there's a Pokemon nest somewhere rumored to hold treasure. Okay, I think I know where it is. Um, but yeah, that's an awesome addition to the game. So if you can see a few paces to my right uh, beyond the cut tree, there's a little shading difference. That's probably where the hidden grotto is. So once we get cut, we'll come back and check that out. Um, let's see, we need Pokeballs. I'll buy five. And I'll buy a fi uh, five potions. That works. Wonder if anyone will give us anything. No. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think the marts are designed like you get better items for the more badges that you have. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, Clefairy's such a nuisance. Ancient tablet perplexes me. Okay. Okay, cool. Very good looking. <laughs> Certainly. I don't know how the creator added that one, but it looks awesome. Alrighty. Let's see. I don't know if I already healed up or not, but... Let's see. I wish I could climb this ledge somehow. Yeah, that would be nice. Alrighty. Your Pokemon trainer, maybe the scope lens will be useful. Of course it will. So let's give that to Eric. Let's go find the professor. Am I missing... Did I miss a house? Probably. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Ah, Dave, you made it. Steve and I were just discussing the gifts I have for you, too. Alright, cool. Let's walk over and see what's up. As you may know, my field of study for the last 50 years has been archaeology. A lot of my time has been spent here in Fenona City. The reason why I'm giving away Pokemon in Salanto Town was no mere act of goodwill. I need help. As an aging man, I can no longer do the field work my job necessitates. That's where you two come in. Dave, Steve, your new, my new work assistants. As my new assistants, here's your very own personal Professor Redwood Care Package. Okay, cool. Uh, go ahead and open them. Alright, that's a cool feature. Let's see what's in them. Alright, we got the Orbitus Pokedex. Cool. We got the Redwood card. And Pokeballs. Alright. Not bad. And potions. Jeez. Alright, well, what do you think? Ne neat, huh? With the Orbitus Pokedex, you can find and record data on wild Pokemon as you capture them. You'll learn to love these Pokemon Pokeballs and potions, and you can always stock up at Pokemarts if you run out. Spoke red cards officially make you members of my research team in certain circles that might get you places. Now our first line of business is with regards to the tremors that have been plaguing Orbitus. Meet me in Fenona Tuttle. There's been some reports of increased seismic activity there. I think we should check it out. See you later. Okay. Oh, we can go upstairs too. Let's see if there are any hidden items. Oh yeah, there are. Awakenings. Revive. Okay, I didn't even know this was here. Isn't this stealing? <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so we got a ton of items there. So definitely check that out. I wonder if there's stuff here too. I was kind of hoping for, uh, like a Master Ball or something. This, uh, professor's holding out on us. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, first episode of Pokemon Gaia. As you can see, it looks amazing and it has a ton of cool features. Pretty good storyline so far. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.